I can still remember the moment that fish still haunts me that I said I have to have a landing net. Um, I was out on Pretty Boy Reservoir throwing a Matt Lures bluegill about that big and I had one one out of the three treble hooks in the roof of this fish's mouth. Enormous small mouth and I had it I had no landing net and I had it I actually touched the fish and it tore through the roof of the mouth and popped free and the fish was right there. Biggest one I'd ever hooked and it just stopped and stayed there a moment and looked at me and I looked at it and it swam off and I still don't know exactly how big it was. Um, but that moment I said, I need a landing net. Um, I had made this one. Uh, this is like a Fraybill net and it's, it's gotten a lot of use. I've actually repaired it in the middle of a tournament because I had a fish go through. You can see the ripped hole and you can see the stitching there. Um, the, the, this style handle, like a forearm crutch. Actually, even before I made this one, I made one with a true forearm crutch. Chad Hoover, who was stationed at the time out over in Germany, found this for me. And uh, this style has been very good for, for scooping up fish real quick. Um, but Leverage Landing Nets came out with something similar, and I used that style for a while. Uh, but it was, it was a larger head. Um, it was a good, you know, it was good for me for a while. Um, and then I switched over to this RS Nets. This has been a very good net, nice nice uh, wide head there um, rubberized coating again the same sort of um, you know brace in your elbow so you get that leverage picking fish up um, but I've recently switched to the yak attack yak attack took over leverage and this is a much lighter uh, net and it's got the same you know it's the same forearm cradling sort of you know brace so you can really scoop quick what I like about this it's a little more low profile in the head than the, the RS nets or the even the old um, the old leverage leverage net um, and it fits up here I I tend to put a lot of stuff up here you can see I got a, a camera mount I got usually a bigger depth finder than than this little Ray Marine Dragonfly 4 sometimes I have a larger unit and I have things on the side like rod or you know, trolling rod holders. I got a lot of stuff up here and having something that's low profile that's always in the same spot, you know, um, it fits up there on my bow is really important. So, Yak Attack Leverage Landing Net. It's, uh, it actually made a difference in the, in the last tournament I was in. Um, one of the last fish that called, you know, and this happens a lot. I scooped it up, I lifted it, went for it, and in you know, my my little tube was just laying in the bottom. So it's a difference maker. Ooh. <laughs> Difference maker.